food blog. It's um, amateurchef.co.uk. Um, I love everything about food, so I just wanted to show off what I do with food on that blog, restaurants that I go to, and things like that, really. So I came across Periscope and thought it would be a good place to start doing a few videos on cooking, things like that. So I thought I would do a Eggs Benedict um, breakfast time, so perfect. So here we have, I'm going to do the poached eggs, and normally poached eggs are quite difficult. Um, but I came across this method by Jamie Oliver, which I think is brilliant. And it's basically using ramekin dishes with some cling film, and then you just drop the egg into it. So I'll start off by getting the cling film and put that into a nice square like that. And then we get the ramekin dish, put that in the middle, get the cling film and basically put the cling film inside the ramekin dish, like so, as you can see. Next we get a bit of oil, just a little drop, drop a little bit of oil in there and give it a good rub around so that that's all in there. And then we need our egg. So drop an egg in there, like so. And then what we do then is lift this up, lift this up, lift this up, tie that around like that. And there we have it. So I'm going to make a few of these, just so I've got plenty for my eggs and my muffins. And so I'll do another one, square, like so, ramekin dish, put that in there like that, again a bit of oil, mix it around. Ramekin dish and then pull this up. Again. Like so. There we go. And I'm going to do, oh, try not to break the egg as well. That's never a good idea. I'm going to do two more just so I've got four of them because uh, I'm a greedy. I'm making it for myself and my wife, and there's nothing worse than just having the one eggs benedict. Like having a good couple of poached eggs. Fill myself up for the day, especially today, because I've got a whole load of Christmas shopping to do, which is going to be manic. So here we go. A bit more oil. Mix it in like so. Mix it all up, get the egg. Crack it through again. And again. Right there, like so. And just squeeze that together and tighten. And voila. And the final one, the last one, and the other reason why I like doing this method is because if you do a typical poached egg in, in the water, in the pan, just simmer it around and spin it, which I've never tried to do and I know that I won't be able to do it, is you can only do one at a time, whereas with this you can just do all four in one go and Everyone can have breakfast at the same time, and not just that, it doesn't taste vinegary. Because I always find that poached eggs, if you put too much vinegar in the saucepan, it can taste a bit vinegary, and I don't like that personally. So, this is a good way of avoiding that. And lift 
this one up and like so. There we go. And it is, it is, it's an amazing way of doing it. I saw it on a Jamie Oliver video and on YouTube and he does um, four ways and it's brilliant. So should have got the saucepan out before really. But hey ho. Now I'm just filling up the saucepan with water. There we go, and we just stick that on to heat up and get to a simmer. There we go, so I'll heat that up. And while I'm waiting for that to heat up, I will sort out the muffins. So here we go, nice muffins. Uh, red knife. Chop these in half, like so. And then whack them into the toaster, just over here. And up. Right. And I'm a messy bugger when I cook. So, always get told off for a mess I am. Right, next I'll sort out this salmon. Some nice Scottish salmon. Uh, that knife will do. Steak knife, but never mind. It all does the same job, doesn't it? Okay, now the water's going to take a bit of time to heat up. You want to make sure it is actually properly simmering, simmering before you put the Eggs in there, so they cook at a decent time. Alright, now I'm just going to cut the salmon. I mean, to be fair, you can do this however you want, but it's not a big deal as long as the, the muffins get a good bit of salmon on, that's all that matters really. So there we go, it's a bit of a yucky job because it's so slimy, but. So, right. um, I mean, you don't. If you don't like salmon, you can use bacon. I often have have it with bacon. Um, if you don't like salmon or bacon, you could have it just muffin with an egg. That's that's, that's fine. Whatever you like, really. Uh, so, okay. and like I said at the start, I've got a, a food blog. Um, it's just the just started it really a few few months ago. Um, it's at www.amateurchef.co.uk. Um, it basically it's just to show my interest and my passion for food. Um, it's got recipes that I've tried. It's got restaurants that I've been to and review. Um, typically in the Nottingham area, but there are some in. Padstow. Um, anywhere I go, I normally try and to review a restaurant I go to. Um, obviously, helps with finding somewhere that other people like to eat, and that way you know that you're potentially going to get a good, a good meal. Um, it's also got reviews, so if I've tried a product or a service, it's like Hello Fresh, things like that, so you can find that there. Um, so it's definitely a good place to check out. Um, if you're on if you're on Twitter, obviously feel free to follow me. And that's the, the muffins done. So we'll, we'll put the muffins onto the plate like so. Don't you see that? So I'll move that up a bit. So there we are. The muffins on a plate, and next I will put them. In. Now, 
I've noticed the one thing I have forgotten is the holiday sauce. Now you can't really have an eggs benedict without holiday sauce, but I haven't got any. So, unfortunately, it is going to be an eggs benedict without holiday sauce. But it will still taste lovely because you should have the runny juices from the egg, which should be really nice. Ideally, I'd have brought more salmon as well. But this will have to do with a little bit of this salmon taste to it, which is enough. It won't be too too heavy or too thin. I mean, you could probably, you would get away with just having the one muffin. Um, I am just quite greedy. Um, but obviously, for the light breakfast, more than enough. So we'll just put these seven here. Right, so I don't know what it's colouring. But uh, you might just want to wash your hands after that. And then do it. Now the water's coming on well, it's still not really the temperature we want. Put it in there for a little bit longer. And so, here's our eggs. For anyone that didn't see, it's basically getting a bit of cling film, a square piece of cling film, getting a ramekin dish like so, and putting the cling film into the ramekin dish, drop a boil in there, and then crack an egg into it and then open it up and tighten it. So it's like that. And it's a, a perfect way of getting a really nice poached egg. You just drop it into the saucepan and then when it's done, take it out, take the cling film off and you should have a really good poached egg. Yeah, I, I agree. I've not tried doing holiday sauce from scratch. Um, I'm a bit of a cheat and we'll just buy it from the shop, which is never good. Um, I've got a got a recipe on my phone and I was going to try it but looking at it, it scared me so I didn't bother but one day I will, <laughs> hopefully, but I was watching I think it was the recent MasterChef and they had, I think it was holiday sauce on there and yeah they didn't, they didn't look like they were doing a great job with that so I don't think I'll try that. Right, so we are nearly there with the water, and I need to set the timer for the eggs. Now the amount of egg, the time, the length you put in there, obviously the, the runnier or the less runnier it is. Um, I'll normally put it in there for three and a half minutes to four minutes, depending on how hot the water is and how much it's simmering. Um, so that's starting to look about right, so what I'll do is just drop the eggs in, so they're going to go in now, and they should start to go a bit white, and there we go, it may want it to be a little bit warmer, but it's not too bad, so they go in. So I put it in for four minutes just because the water is not as simmering as it ideally should be. Possibly. <laughs> I don't usually cook, cook eggs. I normally stay well away from eggs and I cook more with chicken now. I used to stay away from chicken because basically stay away from anything that does salmonella was my motto. You should always just cook pork and beef. But I'll bench it a bit more now. Alright, now I need a bit of scissors. And I will put this plate on here so you get a bit of a better look at it. So I'm going to put the eggs on. Okay, so I don't know if you can see those eggs, but they're starting to go nice and white. up a little bit. Okay, I'll 
done um, post eggs quite a lot. Um, I used to have one of those poachers that you put on. It's not as eggs. Um, but I used to have um, a poacher where you basically put the. It's got things on there and you drop them in there and you just empty them out. And to be honest, they tasted nice, but they weren't like proper poached eggs. Um, not as good as these, to be honest. And yet, I could be doing the hollandaise sauce right now. Should be, definitely. But that would be a disaster on the video, to be completely honest. Especially, I've not done it before. And it'll be embarrassing. extractor fan on so you can actually see what's going on. Have faith. Yep, I'll, what I'll do is I'll research how to do a good, quick and easy sauce. And I'll do that next time. This is the first time I've done a periscope, so bear with me. Um, so here we go. So we're just basically cutting the cling film off and watch it is quite hot. trim it as well to make it look a bit prettier but well it's all in the mouth anyway. So then if I bring the camera a bit closer together, there we go like so and hopefully the moment of truth this should be a pinched in or hard boiled egg. There we go. So Lovely and runny, exactly what you want. And this one's the same, so there we go, lovely poached egg. So, I'll definitely recommend that way. Thanks. <laughs> um, it's really nice, quick, easy, all four in one go. Simples. Um, yeah, so. Thanks, thanks for watching, I'm going to go now and enjoy this and hopefully I'll do a, another periscope um, soon on something. Like I said, if you want to 
follow me um, on Twitter. And yep, definitely too bad about the holiday sauce. Should have done that. But follow me on Twitter, Amateur Chef UK, and also check out the blog www.amateurchef.co.uk and look forward to seeing you again next time. Cheers. Bye.